Sauropods are normally considered long-necked giant dinosaurs with no special traits whatsoever. That is just simply wrong. In fact, the diversity of sauropods is so underrated that most people don't even know that there are big and tiny sauropods, sauropods that apparently mastered the whip strike, tail clubbed sauropods, and sauropods with so much neural spine development that the back could be considered a water slide. The last group, the water slided sauropods or Dacrea sauridae, are out of this world just by their looks. In this group there is one sauropod in particular that needs to be talked about. <laughs> By the sound of the video game used in the intro, you should probably already know this dinosaur, the Amagasaurus, quite literally one of history's high points in the Plotocoid evolution, as this dinosaur put a hell of a lot of evolution points in its neural spine development, particularly in the neck area. These diplodocoids, called Dacryosaurids, diverge from the diplodocids, which form another group within the Diplodocoidia superfamily. Normally the namesake and type member of the group, in this case the Creosaurus, would be the most popular within the group. However, sometimes paleontologists discover an animal so bizarre and so unique that popular media boosts its popularity enormously. In Amagasaurus's case it has been shown in TV series Paleodocs and games, including Bizarre Dinosaurs, Dinosaur King, Dinodan and most notably the Pokemon franchise, where it was first introduced in Pokemon X and Y as one of the fossil Pokemon named Amora, with the later evolution called Aurorus, which is where this sound came from. <coughs> I love this one, it's just one of the best Pokemon cries out there, for real. Anyways, comment your favorite display of Amagasaurus in media. Back to Amagasaurus itself. Amagasaurus Kasawi was first named by Leonardo Salgado and Jose Fernando Bonaparte in 1991 with the name referring to its location of discovery. The La Amaga Formation, which has outcrops in Argentina in the provinces Rio Negro, Nequen and Mendoza. Speaking of the two descriptors of Amagasaurus, Salgado and Bonaparte are actually two goat paleontologists, as both of them have named iconic dinosaur genera, such as Giganotosaurus, Amagasaurus, Argentinosaurus, Canotaurus, Abelisaurus, Alvarezsaurus, and the goat of all hard to pronounce dinos, Piatnitskisaurus, and many more. So shoutouts to them and back to the video. For a sauropod, Amagasaurus is on the lower end of the size spectrum, with 9 to 13 meters of 30 to 43 feet in length and a weight of 2.6 to 4 metric tons. However, its most striking feature is not size, instead its neural spines, of which there have been a plethora of theories to its actual looks and utilization in life. These spines are actually bifurcated, which means they split into two separate spines from a combined base on top of the vertebra. While the elongated spines look similar to spikes in the skeleton, this might not be the case if you actually traveled back in time and studied this animal. This is because one of the first main ideas to the looks of the spine was a double skin sail that started just behind the skull and along the neck and sometimes the body too. This structure was conceived as being a utility commonly used for display but possibly also for mere regulation. Well, well, that idea was quickly put in the back though, as the skin sail would have led to a very rigid neck, resulting in quite a recumbrance for the animal when it comes to feeding and drinking. The second idea that became even more popular was that there was no skin cell at all and that the neural spines would have risen up just by themselves, as it's commonly portrayed in paleo art nowadays. Keratinous sheets would have been present to protect the spines from damage and the distinct spine elements from exposure. Most likely used for these spines is again visual display. There is another theory to the use of these spines and that is as a defense mechanism against predators. However, other than predator intimidation and predators that were dumb enough to actually directly attack the spines, biting out teeth in the process, I don't personally see any more use cases for this structure. By the way, there are no predators in the formation that match Amagasaurus's height yet, so don't let yourself get deceived by some fantasy paleo art here. Anyways, if you have any other ideas to the use of the neural spines, Write it down in the comments below. I personally would prefer roasting a knackwurst on there, 
while an Amagasaurus is laying down to the side and letting me nimble down the sausage from its spines. Uh, no diddy. On to Amagasaurus's environment then. Amagasaurus is known from the coherently named La Amaga formation from Paramean to Aptian stages of the early Cretaceous. Approximately 129.4 to 122.46 million years ago. The formation is also known for a smaller belly sauride called Liga Bueno, followed by Creosaurid Amaga Titanis, which was around the same size but potentially without the crazy spines. Another diplodocoid called Sapalosaurus, this time from the Rebachisaurid family, and an indeterminate Stegosaurian. Shout out to Stegosaurians, by the way. They actually made it to the end of the early Cretaceous 100.5 million years ago. Crazy stuff, not gonna lie. Further animals of the formation include the coherently named Trematochamsid crocodilomorph Amagasuchus, an indeterminate pterosaur and a cladophyrian mammal called Vincelestis. Speaking of which, cladophyrians actually lived from the Jurassic to only recently. Also an evolutionary W identical to the Blodocoids. With all that said, it is currently evidently clear that the Magasaurus would have had no natural predators. Let's just appreciate evolution for a moment, as this was the combination of the Earth's most spiny iconic and weirdest sauropods to ever evolve. So I'm already building a team for the XY remakes. What do you guys think? I got uh, Mega Charizard X, Cacrodontosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Amagasaurus, Mega Neuropsis and my Ninja Frog. By the way, he's the best. Any additions or changes to this team, let me know in the comments down below and let's get this video packed up. See you soon. That's it for this video. Smash the thumbs up, the bell and the subscribe, as only legends do that and I know you all are. I am also currently looking for an editor. If you want to join, just send an email to official.megaraptor at gmail.com. Add a YouTube link of an unlisted video of a 40 to 60 second clip using one of my voiceovers or even your own voiceover with some pictures and videos of the dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals talked about in the voiceover. I would also recommend adding some movement to the video, such as zooms, transitions and so on. You can add some memes for bonus points. I'm different. I am the one that can see John Cena. For more Mega Raptor, there is also the German channel. Also check out Instagram for fitness motivation and inspiration, as I'm on a mission to help more people get fit. Furthermore, you can also check out Twitter to hear my thoughts on all kinds of dinosaur stuff. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.